The sound of football has returned. Sycamore started the season officially today with practice number one. And no matter who you asked, all the folks decked out in Sycamore blue and white and alternate black helmets was ready. Exciting today, man. Running around fast, smiling at you, Luke. Smiling at my guys, Jonas, because I missed them in the spring. Smiling at uh, Rex Mosley. Smiling at Big Tuna and Tate. I love those guys, man. It was fun today running around with them, banging with them. It was just great. It was a great feeling today. Well, I was excited. Like, I thought I'd be, like, super excited. But just being out here was the best one in the world. And that taste of 0 11 is still in my mouth, and it's just a bad taste. So just being out here and getting better every day, just looking forward to the process. I'm pleased with today. Um, you, know, you know, we always talk about tempo's a habit. And you can see who the veterans are out here, and I thought that's where it started. I was really pleased with the two quarterbacks and how they took control of the offense and just let the offense run today. Sycamore's placed five on the all-defensive second team for the Missouri Valley Football Conference, which came out today. Two of those five were Cattrall Moss and Jonas Griffith, and they both believe this is a unit that has plenty of potential. We got a bunch of leaders and a bunch of senior leaders as well, guys like Cottrell Moss, Rondell Green, Rex Mosley, and Oke Mawala. All those guys are just such great leaders, and they all lead their group so well, and just we just want to all compete and just make each other better every day. We have great potential. It's just not – I don't – I don't want to say like that's an individual award because it's really not. If I get an award, that's because my D-line or my DBs, they're, they're locked on to the receivers. My D-line's taking on blocks for me, and we're making plays. So it's all around. I, f I feel like if I ever won that award, I'll give that to the whole team because we got a lot to prove. But also, we just don't care about the other teams right now. We care about ourselves right now. We're worried about us, and we need to put in our work and not worry about other teams' work and what they're doing. We need to be worried about what we're doing, execute our assignments, and it's going to be a great deal. The quarterback spot is one fans will be eager to watch, it seems like, regardless of the year. But this year specifically, Jaleel Kilpatrick was taking the one snaps in the spring, but now Ryan Boyle is on the roster, a man with Big Ten experience at Iowa, and will be a terrific addition. Obviously, Jaleel uh, going through the spring, uh, pleased with how he's progressed. Uh, Ryan jumping in the mix has really added some things, too. You're seeing two guys there with veteran experience, and, and it really shows out here. It shows with their command of the offense and their confidence when they're out there. And not to mention, Coach Mallory and the staff, as every team across the country, gets the benefit of the new red shirt rule this fall, which basically gives players up to four games without burning a red shirt. I think the mindset changes. You know, I, I don't think there's ever a time you feel like you're not going to play. Uh, you know, in the past, you would get halfway through the season or maybe you know, start of the season and say, well, I'm getting red shirt. Well, that's never going to be the case. You know, you're going to have an opportunity to get in there and play at, at any moment. So the mindset changes. Uh, the depth will certainly help. You know, I mentioned uh, a guy like Cottrell Moss, plays 85 snaps, takes 85 hits in a game. Well, now maybe he's taking 70. And now we can take a hit off here if we can get those young guys ready to go. This is day one, uno, of practice. And we will have daily content throughout camp. So don't go anywhere else. Stay right here at GoSycamores.com. Hey, all in on three, one, two, three. All in.